I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building another kind of like, I don't want to call it a snowy house because I'm just building it in the snow, but essentially it's a one story family home for two parents, a teen and also a kid. And I think there's room for possibly a dog, but you could also have a cat live in there instead. There's just no litter box but there should be plenty of room for one, so I just um, didn't place one down. <laughs> but I also had kind of decided that they were gonna have a dog, if anything. Uh, but again, you can make adjustments if you want to. But we're building it in the snow, and by that I mean, right now I'm obviously not building it in the snow, but at some point I change the weather in my game so that it starts snowing. There's a snowstorm and everything will be covered in snow and stuff. I built this, uh, I started it yesterday. Yeah, I built it yesterday, the whole thing actually. And yesterday when I was looking out the window, everything looked very wintry and white, but like, not like, you know, there's two different kinds of snow. So there's the snow that's like, you can shape it into like a snowman or like snowballs, so you can fire at people, you know, that kind of snow, like it, it can, it, it has like a watery, you know what I mean, right? So you can shape it, okay. But then there's the other kind of snow that is just like powder because it's basically just ice. We've had that kind of snow for a while. And yesterday when I started building this, it was covered in that kind of snow, like the outside was covered in that kind of snow. And today it's raining and it's like nine degrees. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the weather, but it's weird and Christmas is literally just around the corner from now. And it's like, it's it was 11 degrees at some point today. What's going on with that? Hello, what's, seriously, I am flabbergasted. I am so confused. I don't understand. And I'm also slightly frustrated because I really wanted to be snowy on Christmas Eve. I don't care if I have to drive in it. I will take it like, yes, just give me snow on Christmas Eve. Because that's when we celebrate Christmas, just to clarify for the non 24th people out there. Um, but yeah, I just want snow on Christmas Eve. Where Where's the snow at? Hello? So at least I can like fantasize a bit through my games. So that's essentially what I've been doing here. Um, the past couple of builds. I think the next one would probably be an apartment, but I do have a plan or I have planned to do two more builds before the weekend. However, because we celebrate on the 24th, that is Saturday and I know a lot of, a lot of people celebrate on the 25th, so I'm not going to upload those two days. Um, however, however, I'm going to my dad's on Thursday, so I might not be able to do a whole two extra builds aside from the apartment. I'm gonna do my best though. I'm gonna do my very best. It's just that sometimes I'm very slow at building, but these two builds I really wanna do before Christmas, there's a reason. <laughs> so I'm just kinda like really struggling to get everything done on time, but I really wanna get it done. It's a, it's a whole thing. So it's a process as well. We'll see what happens, but I do have plans. I'll at least be able to do the apartment and then another house though and then i'm hoping to be able to do the the second house which is going to be the third build so i also wanted just in case to make this like not just wintry so like we're not just building it during snow but also i added just like a little bit of christmas decor here and there you'll see a little bit of it um, you might have seen on the thumbnail or in the thumbnail, there were two trees outside, which aren't necessarily super Christmassy, but they do have like light bulbs in them and stuff. And the reindeers that are super versatile, by the way. So I use them both indoors and outdoors because you can also slice them down and then they look like little sculptures you can place around the house. They're cute. I love them. So without overdoing the Christmas decor, because we are doing that hopefully in a later build this week, I just wanted to add a little bit here and there. So that's what I'm doing. There's some light bulb chains outside as well. Actually, there's a fair amount of fairy lights going on at this house at the end of it. I can stop myself, okay? I love fairy lights. That's just the way it is. I was struggling with the, uh, the, the, like, the color scheme for the exterior of the house because, again, I kind of wanted this house to be white, but then the whole, <laughs> the whole, my issue is that the whole roofing ends up being white as well and then suddenly everything is white and it just blends in with the the ground as well and then suddenly you can't see 
the house because it's basically invisible because the whole house is just white. You get what I mean? Okay. So instead, I think I ended up making it dark brown, actually, because I said this in the last video, I think. I just like those two colors together. I think white looks really good with dark brown. So instead of ending up looking like a farmhouse or... I don't really know what the style of house is, to be honest. It is inspired by a picture that I found, I think, in the archive, not on Pinterest, actually. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a 1950s house from the archive. I think. I have it linked. If I still have the link, I'll make sure to leave it in the description box if you want to check it out. Uh, but sometimes I forget. So I, especially these days, because we're not going to get into it in this video, but I'm very sleep deprived, so like my memory is taking a hit. Uh, but I'll do my best to remember, okay? It, I don't mean anything like bad with it if I forget. I just literally cannot remember anything these days. It's great though, I have like a list over Christmas of gifts and such so that I won't forget to pack, what's it called, wrap them up and also buy them and go pick them up at the post office and stuff, so like everything like that is sorted. I got lists and lists of stuff that I need to do, but like everything else, everything that I want to do on a whim, such as linking a picture of a build in the description box after I've done 20 minutes more of a voiceover plus finished up editing the video. I'll probably forget that because I don't have it written down on the list. <laughs> I'll do my best to remember it though. Actually, hold on. Pausing the voiceover right now. I have added a reminder to my, my timeline as I'm doing this voiceover. See? Genius. Okay, anyway. So, um, I can't remember what I was talking about before though. Too bad. But I think, yeah, we start out with the kitchen and the dining area. I know I did this kind of backwards a little bit, so I placed down all the furniture and, well, most of the furniture at least, maybe not some of the decor, but before I did the wall paint and also um, floor and stuff, and it's kind of, it feels backward, but for some reason, I just kind of got in the groove a little bit, so I just continued. But I knew what kind of, like, I wanted a darker kind of floor for this house. I feel like that would fit with the outdoors as well, because it is a very... Did I place tiling on the patio? <laughs> I did, okay. I did, was just looking at the, the floor plan picture and I was like, did I remember to do that? I think I did. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I went with the uh, Jungle Adventure tiling for the outdoors. But anyway, um, I knew that I wanted like darker wooden floors for the interior of this house. So I think if I placed down the floors before I started decorating everything, it probably... I probably would have ended up decorating this a lot lighter than I did, so in a very lighter kind of color scheme. I won't say that this floor is like super dark either, it is the one from Jungle Adventure. It's just that the texture on this one is amazing, so I love it so much. It's very rustic, it's very... there's a lot of texture to it. I... yes, we need more floors like that, just like super textured, but without going all the way into alpha, because that can be a little bit too much. I don't... yeah. Anyway, and then for basically for this kitchen, I'm just trying to set settle down like what I want to do style wise for the rest of the house. So I think I ended up deciding on a mix of cottage living and not necessarily Selva Dorada, but the chairs are from Jungle Adventure, but also um, cats and dogs. I think it's mainly cottage living and cats and dogs, but we're also building in Brindleton Bay today actually. So, and I actually had started, I thought I was going to start this house in Willow Creek, but then when I, because I moved my sim, my play tester, who's my sim self by the way, I moved her to Willow Creek and I sat down and I looked at the lot and was thinking about how to start this house and then I just felt it doesn't fit in here. I need like more, like Willow Creek does not have a winter vibe to it. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't give me pure winter vibes if you get what I mean. Brindleton Bay, though, insane winter vibes. There is just something very wintry about Brindleton Bay. So I decided to move it. It's the same with Windenburg. Like, there's some something super... It's even in the name, almost. It's not really, but kind of, but also not really. But there's something about Windenburg that's just, like, super wintry. I think it's the forest, the forest vibes, and then covered in snow. And I'm like, ah, so wintry. Brindleton kind of has like a touch of it, especially in this area, but also not so much in like the the 
harbor area. <laughs> the one where you, like, in the city. I don't want to call it a city because it's not a city. But town, maybe? Uh, but in this area and also the other area where you have, like, the house that's overlooking the water and there's the two in the forest, that also gives me winter vibes. But this area in particular, super extreme winter vibes. So I want it. I don't know if I'm making any sense to you guys, but... Hopefully some someone out there will understand me, <laughs> but I really wanted to build this somewhere that just had like these natural, this natural winter vibe. So um, I built a lot in Windenburg, so I decided to take it to Brindleton Bay instead. I totally just ran out of air. Anyway, had a lot of thoughts. I needed to get out there before I could take a breath and yeah, ran out of breath. Okay, ran out of air completely. So I, for a little bit, uh, twice during building this actually was like no I need to place down a Christmas tree in this house like they need a Christmas tree could obviously not find the place for it so I scratched the idea but twice I tried I will make a house with a Christmas tree before this month is over um before this week is over okay that's a big promise because I don't actually know if technical t is tissues <laughs> if technical issues arise we might be in trouble. Okay, so I'm not gonna promise anything, but I will do my best. It's all I can do. I cannot make a promise, because that's a big, big commitment. I cannot speak for the life of me today. That's a big commitment. Okay, um, but I'm gonna do my best to place down a Christmas tree in one of the houses that I'm doing this week. I will say like you're completely free, welcome to move things around if you really want this to be the Christmas house of your sim streams or something like even if it like does it even qualify for that I don't anyway but you're welcome to move things around for the Christmas tree if you want it there um I just could not find room for it essentially so I mean I could have placed it in the kitchen but it's not a little bit weird I don't I won't judge like if you have your Christmas tree in your kitchen that's you, you do you, but I would, actually, I would place it in my office, so, like, that's also not the living room, but I also don't have room for it in the living room, except if I get rid of one of my plants, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> well, technically, a Christmas tree is also a plant. I need to have this conversation with myself at some point. I can feel that, okay? Not in this voiceover. We're not, we're not digging into that in this voiceover. Um, not today. Anyway, this is the parents' bedroom, so... For the, I think I actually changed the curtains for some other ones because it ends up being a lot darker than it is right now, both because I changed one of the walls to an accident wall and I just went with this like dark kind of grayish color and for that reason also because, um, well, these curtains don't come in green, first of all, or they do, but in like a very yellow green that I don't like. I'm much more into very dusty, blue-toned kind of greens instead of yellow-toned kind of greens, okay? Uh, so they don't come in the right kind of green, so I had to change it to blue. But I knew that I wanted like cool colors for the curtains because the rest of the room is very brown. And so I found this gray wall that is, I think it's a cottage living wallpaper. It's like a, a brick that I know, why are we using it indoors? Bear with me, okay? Just, I don't know, it's a creative decision. <laughs> Super creative. Um, anyway, <laughs> and then um, just to add a little bit of extra contra contrast in there, I ended up going for, I actually really like that. I know you can't see it anymore, but the, what's it called? The rug? I think it's a rug from oh my gosh it's a werewolves i think it's werewolves it's my memory okay guys we've already been through this i cannot for the life of me remember anything but it's uh, it's super nice it has a lot of very nice colors i think i ended up using it in the dining room as well it just looks really good so uh it just kind of fit in there i don't know because it was getting a little bit too like beige and brown for some reason so i just needed to throw some contrast in there with the cool toned curtains and also the gray wall and stuff so I like how their room turned out in the end not very Christmassy but still cozy but also without being like way too warm yeah a lot of thought put into that obviously <laughs> I can't I'm very sarcastic today okay just want to 
just want to point that out because I know sometimes sarcasm kind of flies over people's heads. So I'm Danish. It's kind of a part of the language, but I know that it all, <laughs> that it's also a little bit uh, rude in some other languages. It's just anyway, okay? I just, it's not to be rude or anything. I'm tired is all. So I am basically just reverting back to my Danish roots here. Uh, but this is, I actually started out decorating this for 18 and then, because I wanted them to be twins. Um, so we had like two rooms that are almost the same size. This one is a little smaller. Okay, that wouldn't have been, <laughs> obviously not the favorite twin. Yeah, we're taking that. It's, yep. Yeah. I went there. I did that. Okay. But then... I don't know, it just wasn't, it didn't feel right, so I ended up changing it to a kid's room instead. I like the color scheme that it ends up being at the end, because it's mainly these like beige, brown, and then this like rose color that is on the bed right now, even though I can't really find other items that are in that color, but it kind of, it almost matches the wallpaper, the checkered wallpaper, like almost, not entirely, it might be because of my g-shade as well like i don't really know um but a lot of brown in there it's very warm it's very cozy and then with like a pop of mint as well and i really liked it for for a little bit it ends up matching that little pop the little red circle of rug it ends up matching something on the bedside table i wish i could because i don't have i only have a play tester one play tester so she's an adult and so, all right, it also matches the, the paintings a little bit on the wall, but um, she's an adult, so she can't really play test plushies and stuff, but I can't see why anything wouldn't work in this room, but sometimes you don't know with The Sims. Like, it's kind of weird. There aren't any decorations either that should... I had such issues finding these items, by the way, because I installed Better Build By because you guys kept to telling me to <laughs> and now I've installed it and I can't find various things because I know exactly where they are in the debug catalog or the live edit catalog like I knew exactly where the different items are and suddenly I'm like uh where are the cars at hello I guess I don't have that catalog anymore everything is categorized and so I had to sit here and think like where would they be all oh, right, they're under vehicles. Of course they're under vehicles, even though in my head, they're not vehicles. They're just decor pieces. <laughs> so so it's been a little bit confusing trying to get used to um, the better build by catalog with everything categorized and stuff. But it's nice to see all the plants under the plant categories, though I will admit to that. So yeah, I find it handy, handy in that regard, but Sometimes it's causing me issues with other stuff such as where the heck are my plushies? <laughs> and now I can't remember what I was talking about before I started talking about Better Build By. Um, yeah, I had issues finding the plushies and the little rug matches a beanie on the penguin that is on the bedside table. That's all I remember. <laughs> but, um, oh, I play testing. Yeah, I can play test, but uh, at least not like the castle, the dollhouse, and also the plushie, but everything else works just fine. I just either, or I just also can't see what would be blocking those items, but with the sims, like, you never know. It's weird sometimes. You could have something in one room and then the toilet in the room next door doesn't work for some reason. Like, it's super strange. I have had the weirdest bugs in my game after building. The weirdest ones. Uh, it's just where it doesn't logically make any sense whatsoever so if it doesn't work apologies but it always kind of like whenever I build something that's very crammed together in like especially in like children's bedrooms and I can't play test it I go oh no <laughs> I hope everything's fine uh, but it should be fine anyway so this is the the teens bedroom and I kind of really wanted this teen to be like a super bookwormy kind of type. And then, you know, I placed down, almost gave them a humongous computer and I was like, no, because then they just sit there and spend time on that. They need a lot of books instead. <laughs> so I think I managed, especially at the end, like, the, yeah, here, they get a lot more like book stacks around, but could definitely have taken it a, like a little bit further with all the books. I just, again, don't want to block anything from working, but it's supposed to be 
for a bookwormy kind of teen. So as for the child's room, I don't know what they like. They don't have a personality yet, so I can't tell. But if you can see it from their bedroom, let me know because I would like to know um, so I could know who I've built for. I feel like I also just lost my voice for a second, by the way. Things are strange today. I don't. The weather is weird. Uh, Christmas is around the corner. I haven't slept for like close to a, a month and 20 days. It's getting strange around here, okay? Things are getting super weird. <laughs> As for the landscaping, now I've removed the snow. Yes, that is a big hassle and it's worth it because I cannot do landscaping in the snow. <laughs> I just can't see the plants and I can't see the terrain paint and I just want to make sure that this house also works if you don't like to play in the snow but also if you want to play in it for like during summer or whatever you know you can't I can't build it in the snow and then expect everything to look good during summer as well does that make sense so I wanted to make sure that um you know it still looked good during the other seasons and it's just easier to decorate landscape and stuff during um, not snow weather in the sims so i removed it even though i had to sit here and wait a little bit it's all good also i actually like watching the snowstorms in the sims so i don't mind it too much to be honest it's very cozy i think i do most of the rest of the house during it's still winter in the game it's just not snowy uh, or snowing um, but then right before decorating the garage, which does not end up being a garage, by the way, I make it like, um, I almost call it, want to call it like a, a teen cave. I don't know. Is that a thing? Like a, like a man cave and a lady cave? No, that sounds weird. Is that, is there an equivalent for that for women? A woman cave? Still sounds weird. What is the equivalent of a man cave for women? Let me know. But it's for the teen instead. It's not for either of the parents, which by the way, might not be a man and a woman. I'm just saying, okay? Because uh, I don't really, I don't really know. Don't, don't really mind anyway. <laughs> but what's that kind of room called? Because I can't come up with one. So if you know, let me know. But it ends up being like a room like that with like used furniture and there's a TV in there and stuff. But just before I start decorating that, you can see the landscaping covered in snow again. So you get to see it very quickly, but um, we move on to decorating that room very quickly as well. So if you want to see it, you know, either just keep your eyes like glued to the screen for like those two seconds where you can see it, or you can wait for the screenshots as well. I don't know. Or you probably saw it in the thumbnail or you saw it earlier. I, it's, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> but I actually like the idea of having like, I don't know, this, that kind of room for just the teen to run off and they can sit out there away from the family. I also cu uh, coupled, I don't know where that came from. I placed down a couple of consoles in there too. So like they could have their friends. It's almost like one of those basement rooms, if you get what I mean, but in the garage instead. Yeah. And then for some reason, I must have hit my record button at some point. So it stopped recording when I was in the middle of decorating the room. But you kind of get an idea of what it all looks like before I accidentally hit the, the button. So just if it stops very abruptly, that is that's why I just I don't know. Weird fingers sometimes as well. Like nothing is working in this household. OK, <laughs> so I just uh, yeah, I, I thought I did not decorated. I, well, I did, but I thought I recorded the rest of it and then apparently I didn't. And it was quite a surprise when I edited this video the first time because I've actually edited it twice. <laughs> like I said, nothing is working in this household, okay? Nothing. <laughs> everything's just, everything's a mess. It's all good. So, but yeah, I had to edit this video twice. At least I didn't have to edit the pictures twice. I hope not. Oh gosh. Oh no, I need to check after. <laughs> so I know that this, like it looks super cute, but at the same time while placing them down, I couldn't help but think I would not want to drive into this driveway every day because what if you hit those lights? Like there's not a lot of space, you know? Um, but in the night or in the dark, it looks very cute. Along with the fairy lights. That's why I swap between daytime and nighttime quite a lot while placing them down. I just wanted to make sure that everything looked cute and 
lit up and it's like you could see the lights and everything so yeah but other than that they don't really have much of uh oh there's your um landscaping covered in snow but they don't really have much going on in the yard aside from just landscaping and a few decor pieces and that's about it so we're finishing up the build right now, actually. So if you guys like it, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which we'll link to in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. And if you like books and watches book, if you watches, if you watch booktube, check out my booktube channel. It's linked to in the pinned comment as well. But that is all I got for you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. It's hard to win, hard to pin one day.